What's going on, everybody? And we're going to start this new series off with Michael Red through the years. We're going to do a through the years series with all the players from that play from the 2000s all the way up until now. As you can see on the screen, this is Michael Red's career best game when he dropped 57 points against those Utah Jazz. So we're going to do Michael Red through the years, and he started his basketball at Ohio State University. Well, the Ohio State University. And he played three years there. His numbers were like this. In his first year at Ohio State, he averaged 21.9 points per game, 6.5 rebounds, and 3 assists per game in his first year at Ohio State. His sophomore year, he played all 36 games. He averaged 19.5 points per game, 5.6 rebounds per game, and 2.4 assists. His junior numbers look like this. He dropped. He played all 30 games. He had a 17.3 points per game, 6.5 rebounds, and 2.1 assists. And with those efforts he put in those three years at Ohio State, he was drafted 43rd overall by those Milwaukee Bucks. And he played 11 seasons for those Bucks. He made one all-star team. And he made the Olympic team back in 2008. So it was all for his rookie numbers at, and for the Milwaukee Bucks. In his first season with the Bucks, he averaged 2 points per game, 0. 0.7 rebounds, and 0. 0.2 assists per game. In his second year, he had, he dramatically improved. He played a season, played a season 7 games, started 8 of them, allowed 11 points, 0. 0.4 points per game, 3.3 rebounds, and 1.9 assists. In his third year, he played 82 games, started 14 of them. He averaged 15.1 points per game, 1.4 rebounds, and 1.2 assists. In his fourth year in the league, he played all 82 for the first time of his career, the only time of his career when he played 82 games. He averaged 21.7 points per game, 5 rebounds, and 2.3 assists. In his fifth year in the NBA, he played in 75 games, We he averaged 23 points per game, 4.2 rebounds, and 2.3 assists. In his sixth year, he, played, he started in 80 games. He averaged 25.4 points per game, 4.3 rebounds, and 2.9 assists. In his seventh year in the NBA, he played 53 games. He averaged a career-best 26.7 points per game, 3.7 rebounds, and 2.3 assists. In, 2000, in, in, in year eight, he played in 71 games. He averaged 22.7 points per game, 4.3 rebounds, and 3.4 assists for Michael Red. In year nine, he played 32 games when he suffered his, his gruesome knee injury when he tore his ACL and MCL on the same knee. He only averaged 21.2 points per game, 3.2 rebounds, and 2.7 assists. The way Michael Red was playing that year before he tore his knee, he was eventually going to surpass that 26.7 average that he had a couple years back. But after his injury, he never was the same again. In year number 10, he only played 12, started 12 games. He averaged 11.9 points per game, 3 rebounds, and 2.2 assists. Those 11.9 points per game was the lowest since his second year in the NBA. And his final year playing with the uh, the Bucks, he, had, he, he started zero games but played eight of them. He had 4.4 points per game, 0.8 rebounds, and 1.2 assists. Now, we get ready for his final NBA season. When he played for the Phoenix Suns in 2011, he started only two games. Played over 50 of them. Averaged 8.2 points per game, 1.5 rebounds, and 0.6 assists per game. If you add up all the years he played in the NBA, he averaged he's a 19 points per game score, 2.1 assists, and 3.8 rebounds per game. For Mr. Michael Red, they call him Red Hot. Cause that man, when he gets hot, he's a dangerous shooter. Just like that, drains off a catch and shoot three. Michael Red, one of the most underrated shooting guards in the NBA, just going to work on the Jazz. Before Giannis was a buck, they had Michael Red. Michael Red, Brandy Jennings, two of the best left-handed players I've seen growing up. Just how such a great play, look at that, catch and shoot. <laughs> you don't see too many players like Michael Red no more in the NBA. Michael Red, Brandon Roy, those were very talented players. Just smooth with the game. Not flashy, just very smooth. They know how to play the game. 
and uh, my career career could have been very more, very more explosive. But you know, the injury he had in two thousand nine with the torn ACL, and MCL really slowed him down. He wasn't the same player he was, but when he played, Michael Red was a certified bucket. So, thanks for those who's watching. We're going to continue this series. We're going to have episode two coming tomorrow night. And we got a lot of people on this list. We got uh, 99 more people to do on this list. And tomorrow, we'll talk about another very smooth person at the shooting guard position. Very smooth in his game. I can't tell you who it is, but... He's a very great player for the Trailblazers, and his career was cut short as well. If you know what I'm talking about, stay tuned tomorrow to find out about his career and numbers. But thanks for those who's watching this video. Like and subscribe, and turn notifications for every time I upload a video. And this is Worldwide saying God bless and have a wonderful night.